Okay. I think we're picking them up pretty much. They're getting over, right? Yeah, just do a couple. Couple more minutes. Have another minute or so. Start, and then okay. I'm gonna just talk, so the ones coming in can come yeah. in, yeah. and then you know when you see more of them getting signed up, you can tell them that the video will be up on YouTube tomorrow. So if they miss the intro, they can go back and watch it. Yeah. Okay. So. Again, this is our new live stamping class. This class is going to meet every month. The next live class is going to be held on Tuesday, March 1st at 8 p.m. And this class, the one on March 1st, is going to be by invitation only. Now you want to know how do you get invited to that class. You're, you're going to need to place a minimum $25 order and use the hostess code you see on your screen. And that will get you an invite to the class on March 1st. I will send you a supply list of the things that you're going to need and your invitation to join us. And it will probably be either live stream or YouTube. Um, or like tonight, we'll have to try both because one might fail. Um, the class projects that we'll make will either be um, based on my featured stamp set for the month um, or it will be different folds, different techniques. Um, I'll e email you a supply of what you're going to need for when we get together to stamp. Um, if you place a $25 order, you're going to get that um, invite to the class. But if you place a $50 order, you're going to get the invite to the class, plus you're going to get the featured stamp set for the month project of the month. You're going to get the unlock password, so you can go into my card gallery and get the private video link and the PDF file on how to make all the different cards. My featured stamp set for the month of February is the Party Wishes Bundle. You're going to make the four cards. This one is a gift card holder, a little something for you, another gift, another card, another card, and then the box with four envelopes. So you're going to get the PDF file and the private video link to this project and you'll get invited to the next class um, with a $50 order. If you just want to come to the class, it's a $25 order. I will tell you that the next class on March 1st, we're going to be using the um, products from the It's My Party product suite. So we're pretty much my um, project of the month we use pretty much everything that's in this product suite. Um, I love the Designer Series paper stack. It is a 12 by 12 paper stack. So it's huge and it's full of prints, double sided. So we're going to use one of these pieces tonight to create three treat holders and two cards. And then it's also used um, in my featured stamp set of the month bundle. And then throughout the month, I'm going to show you more. And then our next live class, we're going to be using the products again. And I'm going to show you different ways to um, create gift card holders. Because birthdays, a lot of times I give gift card holders with gift cards in for um, birthday gifts. So it's nice to learn different types of gift card holders that you can use. So um, that will be our next live class. And that is on March 1st. Um, tonight is just kind of a sample. We're going to get together and I'm going to show you kind of what it's all about and we're going to stamp together and um, we are going to make three, whoops, three different treat holders and then two cards. Now my thinking on this would be if you had a birthday party for um, child, grand, grandchild, whatever, um, you could give each one a little treat party favor to bring home and then this card here could be like their invitation happy day or this one could be the invitation happy birthday and then inside you would put the details for the party and then the other one you would use as your thank you to send to the guests after the party so it's just a little um party theme going on here and i'm going to show you how you can create all this with one 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock designer series paper. Now the paper that you pick is you're going to want it to be a random print. 
You do not want it um, going just in one direction because we're going to be twisting and turning the paper, so you want it to be the same no matter which way it is going. So grab your designer series paper and we'll get started. So is everybody ready and to stamp? I can't hear you, so Bill's going to be looking at your comments and let me know if you are ready to stamp. Okay, uh, some, one person said the tube is all green, but for the most part it seems to be working for everybody. I think if it's, uh, if it's a problem, it's probably the audio. I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll type it in my comments, so you can go ahead and just keep going with that. Because it's, it's working okay from our end. Okay, so you're going to grab a, your 12 by 12 piece of designer series paper. And I, like I said, mine is coming from the It's My Party um, 12 by 12 paper stack. So you can see mine is double sided. This is the side I'm going to focus on. So everybody grab your paper. How are we doing? Does everybody have their paper? Ready? Ready, ready. Okay, good. And like I said, um, this will be on YouTube tomorrow, so if you are coming in late, it'll be on tomorrow on YouTube, so you can go back and see the intro if you missed the intro because you had to come from um, live stream and we were down. So you're going to use your um, cutter trimmer here, and you're going to take your 12 by 12 piece, and you're going to line it up at 8 and a half by 11, and you're going to cut it. Eight and a half by eleven and cut that off. Then you are going to turn this and you are going to cut it at five and a half. Five and a half. Take this up here and cut this next piece at five and a half. So we have should have two pieces that are identical and then this little strip. Everybody with me? I'm, I'm looking at the cam on the screen and I can see there's a little delay, so I'm waiting for you to catch up. Everybody's good? Okay, so let's put those aside and we got this strip here going to bring this in our trimmer cutter here and we're going to cut this at five and a half bring this piece up and we're going to cut that at five and a half and we have this little piece left okay I think I'll start with the cards first and that's those last two pieces that we just cut so the next thing you're going to want is your solid piece of uh, eight and a half by 11 that you're going to use for your card base. So I chose the Melon Mambo as my card base. So, and we're making two cards. So you're going to cut that eight and a half by 11. You're going to cut it with the 11 side at five and a half. So now we have two pieces at five and a half by eight and a half. This paper is gorgeous. I see somebody commented, very pretty paper. I love the whole stack. It's just got gorgeous colors. Okay. Now what we're going to do is you're going to put it in your trimmer, the eight and a half across the top, and you're going to score it at four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. You're going to do that to both of them four and a quarter all right so those are our two card bases and now we're going to cut for the inside so you're going to want a piece of white unless your card sack your card base is white then you can just skip this step but you're going to put the whisper white in your card 
trimmer with the 11 across at the top and we're going to cut at five and a quarter so five and a quarter we don't need this piece and then we're going to cut this at four and then this one at four so these are our insides for our card so we got our card bases we got our insides and then we have our two prints and then we have this little piece left here we're going to keep that i want you to get your strip from the other pieces that we cut it's the longer one it's the um, eight and a half by one inch that was left over from the other side and then you're going to cut this strip at four inches and then again at four inches and we don't need this little piece right here This will all come together. Um, we're going to place. Okay, so you should all have this going on here, just like this, and two bases. Yep, everybody's good. I don't know if I should pause and wait or because when I pause and wait, then they get the delay with the pause and the wait. Right. So just keep just going. Keep going. They can rewind and they can rewatch it if they have to, right? Okay. Yes. And like I said, it will be posted tomorrow. And I, I'm, I'm trying to go very slow. And I am a very fast stamper, so going very slow is a little hard for me. So if you need me to slow down, just yell at Bill and say, hey, tell her to slow down. I am going to grab a bone folder because I can't see one on my table, and I like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our cards that we scored and we're going to fold them in half. Fold your other one in half so you have your two cards. Now, I don't know if on YouTube, am I like in the corner of their screen? No. Because we usually start out by talking and you see me and, and that's how we get started. But because of our troubles tonight, we kind of missed that part. So The live stream did finally come up. Oh, it did? Yeah, so okay. I'll put your picture up on live stream so people can see it. Okay, so we have our um, cards. These are our inside pieces. Now these two little pieces here, you're just going to use them as decoration on the insides of your card. Just something a little pretty there. So take your snail or your fast fuse and attach that to the bottom. You can go directly to the bottom or you can leave a little bit of the white showing however you want. I left a little bit of the white showing. I don't know, probably can't see that. but And then I'm going to place that on the inside. So like I said, one of these cards could be the invitation to the party. And then the other one could be your thank you after the party. Or you can use them both as birthday cards. And let's see, I just want a little bit showing. Now, if you're like me and you cut a little off, you just take your scissors and when you got it flipped over and you just trim that excess off there. And you're going to put that on the inside. So there's our insides. And if you want to later, you can take, uh, if you have the coordinating stamp set, the little balloons, you could put some balloons up here, um, decorate the inside however you like. Now on the one, we're just going to take the designer series paper, just like it is, 
and it's going to go right down the center. Like so. And then we are going to take some Whisper White cardstock. I got some scrap here. It's just a scrap is all you need. And I am going to stamp, um, let's see, Happy Day in black. And then I'm going to stamp Happy Birthday. And I'm going to cut these out with some ovals. So I'm just going to take my ovals and see which ones I like. That looks pretty good for that one. That looks pretty good for that one. And so I'm going to run those through the Big Shot. So whatever sentiments you want to use and whatever punches you want to use, go ahead and do that. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to take the next size up ovals and I'm going to take some coordinating crushed curry and I'm going to cut out my mats. So go ahead, stamp, cut out or punch out whatever you're going to do for your sentiments and then make your mat either with framelits or punches and I'll be right back. You are the quietest stampin' class I've ever had. Well, they seem to be talking a little bit here and there. Talking right. to each other. I meant that because I can't hear them. <laughs> Not literally. So how are we doing as far as, am I going too fast? Is everybody keeping on track. Give me some feedback. Here's my one mat. Here's my other mat. And then I'm going to, while I'm stamping here, I'm going to make my treats are all going to say thank you because they're like the little treat favors that I would give to the kids for um, coming to the party. It's a little favor. And then I'm going to punch out my thank you with a one inch punch. And I want three of these because I have three treat holders that we're going to make. So if you don't want birthday, you can easily make these for a uh, bridal shower, baby shower, um, just change up your, your prints and your stamp set. And I use the um, one and a quarter inch scallop punch to do my little scallops. So now I'm just going to assemble all my little pieces. In all my little mats. Everybody says the pace is good. So that's pace good. is good, 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 good. I like to hear that because I tend to forget and start speeding up. And I'm trying to um, do things so that we can just kind of assemble once we get everything. Makes it easier. Because if your table is like mine, full of stuff, if we get too many things going on, things are going to get buried and then we won't know where our stuff is. So go ahead and put your dimensionals on the backs now and then they'll be ready when we want to attach them.
And that's good. Okay, so we have all our little um, sentiments. So on this one, I'm going to just put the happy day, and I'm going to just place it right there at the top. Oh, before I seal that down, whew, um, we had this other little piece left over. If you want to, you can change, flip that over so you get the other side. I'll just do it on mine. It's just a piece that was left over. I think that's kind of cute. And then we can go ahead and place this over the top. Cute, cute. Now, like I said, you, you can go back and dress it up with punches later if you want. Like here, on the, this is the same card. Um, I didn't do that flip over piece, but I did punch out some balloons in the coordinating colors and added some twine, just dressed it up a little bit. But that's something that you can do later. But this is cute, just like this too. So that's card number one done. Card number two, you have your piece here yet. What you're going to do is you're going to bring the cutter in. These fast fuse, you're a piece of, of choice these days. It is. I love the fast fuse. I use fast fuse for everything. Everything. Someone else just said, just clarifying all future classes require a purchase of $25 each month. Get invited to attend each class. Yes, this is considered a class. Um, it's different than my other live events. Um, in the class, it's kind of like, will turn, I think, more like into a club. And then um, I'm also going to have on my blog, if you go to my albums, I'm going to have uh, our stamping class album. And so after the class, you'll be able to go to that album whenever you want. I will send you the password so you can go back and look at the project. You can go back and look at the video. Um, the PDF file will be there. So... Um, it's just something fun, and this way I get to stamp with you, and I get to teach you little tricks and tips along the way. Just something different I thought I would give a try. So what you're going to do is what I did was I measured this piece as three and a half wide, and I wanted to cut it in three strips. So I equally is kind of hard, but at one and an eighth, so one and an eighth, you're going to pretty much get it the way you want it. So just line that up at one and an eighth and cut. And then one and an eighth. Whoops. And I should be cutting off an eighth of an inch on this side here. Are you going to do other live events, someone asked? I am going to do other live events, yes. But I will do one live class um, once a month. So there we have our little strips. And we're going to attach them to our card front. Now, I found it okay, easiest to start on the end... And you want maybe like an eighth of an inch showing. And then take another strip. And then come to the, this side and you want like an eighth of an inch showing. Thereabouts. And then you're going to do the center one. And so you can gauge where you want that one to go. So there's our three strips on there. And then this one is going to go on here. So there's our card number two. This could be the um, invitation to the party or the thank you for coming to the birthday party. Either way, or it can just be a birthday card. And then you have your gorgeous inside piece. Now, I would recommend on the envelope to take the coordinating stamp set and maybe put some balloons on it or the candle, the cupcake. Any one of those would be really cute with that. 
So now we have these two pieces left, correct? That's what you should be left with. We are going to take one of these, bring back our score trimmer here, and we don't want the trimmer or the cutting blade. We're going to score on this one now. So we're going to put this in with the eight and a half across the top. I know I do. Um, some people hold have this at the bottom towards them. Some people do it at the top. I do it at the top, whichever way you want this to be along. You want the eight and a half along here. We're going to score it at two inches, at four inches, six inches, and at eight inches. And then you're going to turn this and you're going to score it at two inches. So I know you can't see these score lines on, so I'm just going to fold mine on the score lines a little bit. It'll make it easier for me to see what I'm doing. They got to be scored anyway. So that makes it so I can see it a little bit better. So you should have a little, let's turn it over, maybe you can see it better. Square right here that's like a half a strip by two inches. You're going to cut that away. We don't want that. And then you're going to come up on each one of those score lines and to, to that score line. So from the bottom up to where we did that two inch mark. Boy, I got to, I'm having a hard time seeing my score line. I don't have my glasses. Old age creeping in. Got to have those glasses to see that stuff. So now we should have the four little flaps and then this one right here. So if I want this to be my outside, I'm going to fold it like this with the outside flap here. Then I'm going to take my fast fuse or you can use the tear tape and run that along there and then just um, fold this right on there. Somebody asked what are those numbers? What are those numbers? Two, four, six, what numbers? Um, I don't know, I just got a question, what are those Oh, numbers? to score two, four, six, eight, and then you're gonna turn it and score it at two inches. So two, four, six, eight, and then at two inches. So then you should have a little cylinder like this. And I always do my seam, which I don't even know. I can't even see my seam. Boy, that's a first. So I guess it doesn't matter. I always do my seam to the back. Wow, I cannot see my seam. Fold in the sides first. And then I give this one... And then this one, some adhesive. Just like that. Then you have, there's my seam. And I did it perfect. Uh, you're just going to fold in and you're going to get that little box. So you want to fill your little box with some treats. So, <laughs> I wish you were here, I would share my treats with you, but the best part of stamping is those chocolate treats. And all the kids know that my room is full of treats. And even Bill will, I'll find, I'll come downstairs, I'll say, what are you doing in my room? Oh, I was just looking for some of them treats. So fill that with your little treats, give it a pinch, Take the handheld eighth inch punch and you're going to come in from the side here and punch and you're, what you're creating is a little divot right there. 
So you just want to get like a half a circle. I filled it quite full with my treats. So you got a little half circle on each side. Then you're going to take your twine. Now this is from the same suite, the It's My Party suite. Um, I think I'm going to use the um, mint in black. I'm going to probably do about 18 inches. Kind of coordinates with my candies. And then you're just going to feed that, um, let's see, twine in those little divots that you created. It'll help hold it in place. So you're going to string it around. And I like to tie a little knot. So now I say if this is for a girl party, I would probably do the pink and I would tie a bow. I could do a, this color as well. For a boy, I like to just leave it tied and call that good. Just trim it up a little bit. They don't like all those little fancy bows. And then just take one of your thank yous, take the tape off, and just slip that right on there like that. So that is, I would make my bowl a little nicer, but I can play with that later. But that is your first treat holder. Cute, cute. Isn't that cute? Somebody asked, is that what you really sound like, Bill? I don't know. Is this what I really sound like? Yeah. <laughs> I guess. I don't know what they're hearing because I can't hear what they're hearing, but we, I... When I would take videotapes of the kids when they were little and I would hear myself, I hated my voice. That's just the way it is. Okay, we got one piece left and we're going to do two treat holders out of this one piece. So we're going to bring it in the trimmer at four and a quarter and cut. And we're going to turn it so the five and a half is on the top starting to rain pretty heavy again. I don't know if you can hear that or not. And we're going to just uh, score one side at a half an inch. So we just do one side at a half an inch. And we're going to do that on both pieces. Half an inch. That's the only scoring you need on them. So on this one, what we're going to do is we're going to Put, take our fast fuse on that piece and we are just going to fold that. I probably should have done it the other way. It probably would have been easier. Just go like this. That fast fuse sticks right to my hand though. Okay, avoid my hair if it's in the picture. I can't, I want to get it nice and straight. All right, so we have a cylinder like this going to pinch that flat and come in with that handheld punch and you're going to punch so we have a little circle there going to take some more of our twine I don't know probably we'll do 20 inches just to make it good you're going to take that and you're going to go through both holes there I probably got more than enough so you're going to do that then you are going to have a treat. This is the one I picked. These are my favorite Hershey caramels. Yum. Or you could do like Tic Tacs, little candy bars. You see how the um, twine goes through there? You want to put your candy down in there so that it's going to push that. See how it's pushing the ribbon up? The twine up and then we're just going to tie it at the top you could tie it in a knot tie it in a bow however you like that was a pretty good estimate because I just have a little bit to cut off 
So, I mean, what's that? Three inches maybe too much? And then take one of your little thank yous or whatever. You Maybe you just want this to be a birthday treat and you could do happy birthday on it or happy Valentine's Day. But what this is is a treat slider. So that is your second treat or party favor. And we're down to this one. So what we're going to do on here, this one I'm going to use the tear tape. And I'm going to put the tear tape on this uh, folded over piece right here and tear. And then I, what I want to do is lift up, but to find the center, so pretend that this is stuck, and then I'm going to give this center part or this edge a little pinch so I have that little divot there. Then I'm going to take the tape and I'm going to go under the flap to my little divot that I made right there. Ugh, sticky. Fold that. Okay, do this again. This is going to go this way, and we want this to come this way. So what you're going to do is just kind of give it a pinch and a pinch, and you're going to run your tape in between your two pinches there. So your tape should look like that. You should have a tape here, here, and on that strip. And I'm just going to give you a second because that's kind of a little bit there. But we are almost done with our two cards and three treats. And we're doing awesome on time. So this is good because this gives me a, an estimate of how long our class will go. Our class is going to consist of, I'm going to try to do three different cards. Um, or projects depending on what we are doing like next month it will be different type gift card holders I will make up more than three in case we have time to do more if we run out of time you will still get the other projects you will they will be in the um, album so you will get the PDF file and they will be on the video so um, you won't be missing out any so you will be getting each month three to five depending on um, the techniques, how hard they are, um, how time consuming. Um, but it's kind of like an online club technique class because we're gonna be doing all different things, not just card. Um, there'll be like gift cards, treat holders, things like that. Okay, so now that everybody should be taped up here, we're gonna remove the tape on our folded flap here. And then we're going to bring this end over, just like we did on the last one. So we have a little cylinder. Now we're going to reach in here, and we're going to remove the... I'm going to get my paper here. So we're going to move, remove the tape off from our tear tape here. And give that a pinch. And then... Fill it with your treats. Now, I couldn't have all the same treats, so I got some of these candy Hershey Kisses in pretty purple. So we're going to put some of them in there. That's pretty full. Give our thing a little pouch, a little push maybe. Fill in some more. That where we go. Might get one more in there. And then remove that uh, tape, the tear tape. Easier if I set it on the table. Get out of my way there, little kissy. Now my kiss is stuck to it. And then you're just going to fold it like that. So you have, they call this a sour cream container. And then you're just going to take that other little thank you. Place that on there and what I like to do to give it a little bit more pizzazz is take my little punch just like we did before and give it a little divot and then some more of our little 
twine, like 12, 13 inches, probably good. Depends if you want to wrap it around a couple times. And then just come to the front. Those little divots help to hold the string in there. And then just, I tie a knot and then tie a bowl. I'm a, I'm a little short with my string, so maybe like 16, 18 inches. Or don't double wrap it around. Cute. He's a little stubby. But there you go. One 12 by 12 piece, three treat holders, and two cards. Love the prints. I think I like this grouping better than the one I had displayed on my um, blog today. So that is our class for tonight. Like I said, if you want to join me in my next class, which is going to be March 1st at 1, or March 1st, at 8 p.m., you need to place a minimum $25 order and use this hostess code, and you will get the invite um, to that live event, that live stamping class. And if you place a minimum $50 order, you're going to get to come to the class, plus you're going to get the PDF file, the video on my stamp set for the month, which is the Party Wishes Bundle. So it, the bundle has the punches, the stamp set. Um, we're going to use the coordinating folder. Where are you going to use those enamel dots? They're so pretty. Um, the 12 by 12 designer series paper that I used tonight. Um, we're going to use some of this. The, the twine. Oh, it's just fun, fun, fun. I love that whole suite. It's gorgeous. So tonight, 